Hi guys, uh, Ian Bame over at TIR Screws and Barrels. Uh, I'm here joined uh, with the owner of TIR, uh, Jay Bame. Um, we're going to be getting uh, the wear measurements on a feed screw today. Uh, this will show how worn your feed screw is and it, whether or not it's a good candidate for a feed, uh, feed screw rebuild here at TIR. Um, today we're actually looking at a rebuilt screw that we've done ourselves uh, here at our shop the plant here in uh, north of Pittsburgh, PA. Um, but first, uh, we'll show you some of the uh, needed items that you'll have uh, at your shop to do a measurement of the OD. Uh, first, we'll be looking at mics. Uh, this is just your standard mic. Um, with this, you'll need a half inch bar um, to be able to span the flights whenever you make an OD or outside di diameter measurement. So here, we'll show you an example of what it looks like. I'll hold the bar here. So you can see it's almost a two-man operation to uh, get it correctly. And you, uh, when you're done with, with that measurement, you must subtract the half-inch bar. So that's something that a lot of different shops will have. Um, but here at TIR, we've got flight, mic flight mics. Um, like Jay said, uh, that's something that um, usually you're gonna be using uh, with a two-man operation, these flight mics designed specifically for uh, feed screws and other applications that are similar, um, only require one person, a lot better for us. Um, and that's what we'll be using uh, for this demonstration. So whenever you're taking the OD measurements, you'll start at your flight one, work all the way down to the nose end, um, and get the outside diameter measurements to measure the wear of the screw. Uh, it should um, vary throughout the length of the screw. This being a newly rebuilt screw, uh, all these measurements on the OD are gonna be the same or within a thousandths. Uh, this is, uh, in this case, it's 1.994. And that, that should be the case throughout the entire length of the screw. Yep. Um, another note that we'll have, uh, this is a barrier flight screw. Um, so you can see the start of the barrier flight here, working all the way to the end. Um, whenever you're taking the OD measurements, make sure that you span with your bar the outside diameter because this barrier flight will be slightly lower than the outside diameter flight. You know, in a very worn screw, sometimes there's not much clearance between the barrier and the OD, and you'll know you'll know that uh, you have a pretty worn screw, and the barrier and the outside diameter are the same diameter. Another note, um, oftentimes you'll see maybe a, a mixer of some sort at the end here. Um, get a few measurements of that as well. To make sure that your mix, mixer is not worn. Oftentimes it will be. Um, if you can't measure a screw, just we, you can send it to us and we'll measure it and send in an inspection report to you when uh, uh, after we inspect the screw. And if you have a uh, maybe a plant uh, that's down for maybe a day or two, um, you can always call us. We'll come out and measure your screws for you. Um, looking forward to do, doing business with you, and uh, thank you. Live from CIR.